Okay guys, now in this video we'll be talking about the protein digestion. So how proteins are digested? Now protein digestion is a little bit uh, trickier than the carbohydrate digestion which is very very simple. Now in protein digestion what we are having? We are having protein molecules. To understand the digestion what we need to know is that digestion means simplified form of the complex macromolecules. For example the macromolecule here is protein and protein is consisting of amino acid sequences one by another so lot of amino acid sequences are attached like that now what we do after breaking down into protein what we get we'll get only units of amino acid like that independent units of amino acid okay so once we get these units of amino acid by breaking down proteins, we'll be telling that yes, digestion is successful. Because digestion means simplification of complex form of uh, polymer or macromolecule like this protein. Or when you take carbohydrate long chain, break it down to small chains like monosaccharide, simple. The unit of protein is amino acid. Now many amino acid, finally many amino acid when they arrange together, they first produce disaccharide, then polypeptide sorry dipeptide means two amino acid together two amino acid together called dipeptide then the they, many of them called polypeptide and polypeptide is finally called as protein so when you break them down into smaller fragments up to the amino acid level we can take up those amino acid easily we can absorb those amino acid easily by intestinal epithelial cells and then we can process them inside okay and we can use those amino acids in the metabolism and other purposes so this is a process of uh, so this is the basic overview of how wh what we mean by protein digestion now protein digestion again if we begins with the first step of from mouth then intestine the large intestine and so on so actually we need to put something else in the in between so let me actually put something else which is stomach also i don't require that previously so stomach and thirdly placed intestine All the type of food, whether it's carbohydrate, protein, or fat, it must be taken care of in the intestine because this is the major area where every pro type of digestion is going on and absorption is going on. But they may not have any effect in mouth or stomach. But let's see in case of protein, for example, in case of carbohydrate, we have seen activity in mouth and intestine, not in the stomach. But in case of protein, what we will find that activation begins from stomach. No activity of digestion of protein begins in mouth because there is no enzyme in our saliva or any other mixes in our mouth to digest protein. So protein digestion won't begin at mouth. It starts at the stomach level. Now at the stomach level, stomach secretes, remember, pepsin. So actually they secrete pepsinogen. And what we know, HCl helps to bring it to the pepsin to digest this pepsinogen and to produce the active form of pepsinogen which is called pepsin which is active now once we get this pepsin this pepsin can act on protein and they can break down it into peptides small peptides they won't break down it completely into amino acids but break down into smaller fragments of say 5 20 30 stages of amino acid sequences okay so smaller peptides then the second round of digestion of protein takes place in the intestine and in the intestine when we get we get only peptides won't get any proteins so in intestine remember pancreas is secreting some protein degrading enzymes right chymotrypsinogen trypsinogen carboxypeptidase so all of these enzymes further activated by the different hormones that we know there and finally what we get we get we get trypsin chymotrypsin carboxy peptidase or peptidase and all of them trypsin chymotrypsin carboxy peptidase and all of these different enzymes will act on small peptide fragments and what will they produce they produce amino acid molecules now when they produce amino acid molecules this is the simplest form so no further digestion can be there then they will be absorbed easily then they will be easily absorbed okay so this is 
the simplified view of protein digestion. But remember, the most of the protein digestion takes place in intestine by the secretion of or secretion from pancreas. So let me write it here: secretion from pancreas is there, and pancreatic trypsin, chymotrypsin, carboxypeptidase. They are act acting on small peptides and to produce amino acids okay and for the whole process of these enzymes to be active there are um, accessory molecules like hcl to be secreted and there should be other hormones like gastrin to be secreted uh, so gastrin to be secreted and there are also this this acidic environment is also required there right so when they produce this pepsin at the stomach level everything is acidic and the enzyme pepsinogen uh, is broken down into pepsin it is acting on the protein to bring it down to the small peptides but then when when these small peptides are produced and they produce the chyme and the chyme is moving from the stomach into the duodenum now remember when they are moving from stomach into the duodenum they are encountering huge amount of bicarbonate right because the intestinal cells are trying to reduce the acidity, acidity of duodenum by by secreting bicarbonate the basic environment or, or the alk alkali so as they are secreting that they are um, imbalancing that so as the acidity of the medium is going down as the acidity of the environment is going down this pepsin enzyme stop working in the duodenum so pepsin starts activating in uh, stomach but it will when it reaches the duodenum it stop the activity in the kind Okay, so that thing is also important. So this in a sense is a protein digestion overview and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.